Hello, 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 everybody! I'm finally back! All you need to know, I have been very, very sick, and I have something like this days. But I am back to my normal self, and what better way to come back than to take a look at the Target exclusive Jurassic World Dominion Oh, an escape, or as I like to call it, the Malta Escape Pack. So without further ado, let's take a quick look at it. Now with this set, you get Owen, a bike, two Atrociraptors, and the Carnotaurus. But I want to save the best for last. So let's take a quick, take a quick look at both of the Atrociraptors, Red and Patera. Just to get that out of the way, I want to take a quick look at uh, Red, the Atrociraptor. Uh, you guys already know my thoughts on the mold, so I'm not going to spend too much time on this one. But I, I, what I will take uh, my time on this one is the paint job. I absolutely love the paint job. Um, it really reminds me of a certain species of snake. I cannot think of it at the moment, but it reminds me of a species of a snake that I've seen. And it is super, super eye-catching. And even though Red was left in the dark in the movie, uh, he was still super eye-catching, like, the, the red, the, the cream color, everything, mwah! I absolutely love the way they painted red here. Um, I also like the articulation, it's the exact same as the ghost, so you get articulation in the legs, the arms, and he's just a little basic figure with an amazing, amazing paint job. Now, let's take a look at Panthera. Now, Panthera here is both a new and old mold at the same time. Let me explain. The Crouching Raptor is nothing new here. So, this is basically that, but better. Honestly, uh, the, the Crouching Raptors have been kind of controversial in the, in the community, mostly because you, you can't do much with them. And I, I agree, you really cannot do much uh, poses with the Crouching Raptor. But, uh, I, with this one, there are so many things you can do with the Crouching Raptor. Like, it's limited, but at the same time, super photogenic. I absolutely love the way Panthera is painted, and I absolutely love this mold. It is a vast improvement um, compared to the old Crouching Raptor. And if they start making more of the Crouching Raptors, I would like them to take more notes of the Panthera figure because this is a major improvement compared to the old ones. I absolutely love it. And now that we've taken a look at the Atrocity Raptors, let's take a quick look at Owen and the bike. Owen, 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 Owen. What is to say about him? It's not as if this is literally like the 10th uh, Owen figure we've ever gotten. So, I could just complain and be like, oh, another Owen. But there is good things with this set. Starting the bike. The bike is absolutely well detailed and well painted. It is a, don't get me wrong, I love the Dino Rivals um, bike that came with the Baryonyx and Owen set. But this one right here, mm, it's, it's perfect. It, it is perfect. It doesn't look um, futuristic. It doesn't look like a military vehicle. It looks like something Owen would actually have. Um, and honestly, it's just super fun just to, uh, toss around and, uh, you know, basically do stop motion with it and other stuff. It, it's a good, it's a bike. It, it does what it needs to do. And here with Owen, um, uh, he's your basic little human figure. You get head articulation, elbow articulation, leg articulation, and waist articulation. Uh, and this is honestly my favorite Owen Mattel has released. I absolutely love this Owen. And he is a major improvement from the Fallen Kingdom Owen, both paint-wise, detail-wise, and sculpt-wise. And also, you actually get a knife this time. Unlike the other one, which is basically a knife permanently that goes in the back. So I, would, I highly appreciate that. And uh, his joints are not too loose, they're not too tight, they're just like Alan Grant. It is right there in the middle where it's perfect. All in all, this, this Owen is a great addition to the collection, and if you already have an Owen, 
just get it for the bike and you can pretend this guy is a goon. Now, let's move on with the main course. Here we have the Carnotaurus, but not just a Carnotaurus, a little juvenile Carnotaurus that has the demon uh, paint job. If you don't know what I'm talking about, there's been, there's been a thing since the Kenner toy line where uh, there's a Carnotaurus that's black and red. And that is known as the Demon Carnotaurus because that was the code name for the toy. Now, obviously, this this is just a juvenile, even though it's supposed to be the same Carno from Dominion. It is way too small, and uh, maybe we'll get a an upscaled version of it that so it can go perfectly well with the battle damage Allosaurus. I hope that's the case. But either way. I'm happy with this little Carnotaurus. It's it's different. I love the fact that he has like a little broken horn and everything. And the paint job on it is in a way kind of nostalgic because again, it really, 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 really captures that demon Carno look. I love its basic uh, features. Like it, it, its head can move, its mouth can move, its little tiny arms can move, and legs can move. It is a basic figure. You don't get much possibility out of this. But you know what? I love it. Uh, I don't know why, but I love it. Besides, it's not a Hammond collection set, so... You're, you're, I don't know if any of you expected more possibility. <laughs> but yeah. Before I get into my final thoughts, let's get into size comparison. Here's the Malta Escape Pack with Brain Arts, Kingdom Hearts, Sora. And here's the Malta set with the one and only... Captain Jack Sparrow. All in all, this is honestly a pretty, pretty cool set. If it's still available at your local Target or your other local stores, I would highly recommend it. This is honestly worth the $30, and I, I say it's worth the price because you get quite a bit with this set, and uh, also you just get a cool little background with the ocean and everything, so that's also kind of cool. But anyway, I just want to thank you guys so much for your support i've hit 500 and now as i'm looking at my screen recording this 600 subscribers i have hit 3,000 followers on twitter i i really cannot ask well i can ask for more obviously but i don't want to sound greedy but i thank you just thank you thinking so much for your support in this just short time that i've been here on youtube um, posting these uh, daily videos has been putting my mind on ease and I wanted to reward you guys for that. I want to reward all of you on Twitter and all of you on my YouTube with a new giveaway. And this time, and this giveaway it is the Jurassic World Dominion Atrociraptor Rampage Pack. I honestly think this is one of the most underrated packs and I want to reward one of you with it. Now, the rules are quite simple, folks. All you have to do is subscribe to my channel and leave a comment at this video to and just say which is your favorite scene of Jurassic World Dominion. Same thing goes to my followers on Twitter. Uh, follow me on Twitter and comment on the post which scene is your favorite uh, from Dominion. Good luck to all of you and see you guys tomorrow with a new video. Adios!